out cleaning up after the severe weather. WDSU's Aubrey Killian spoke to people who were dealing with damage in two separate areas, Kenner and St. Bernard Parish. And Aubrey, I know you just found out that a tornado touched down this morning in Kenner. Hey, Travers, that's right. So right behind me, if you take a look, this is the AP Clay Center out here on Decatur Street. The damage, it is pretty incredible to see in person. So this is a spot for local kids to learn at before and after school programs. Get this, 75 kids between the ages of three to five years old. They were set to graduate inside of this building this morning. So it could have been pretty catastrophic if this building was full of kids. Take a look inside. There is major damage to the roof and AC units. Part of the roof, it is collapsed. There is also some pretty severe water damage inside. Computers and classrooms, they are destroyed. We also went down to Violet in St. Bernard Parish. Several homes saw some damage there. Parish crews were out cleaning up. One man had his car part actually blown apart. Another homeowner, he had part of his chimney blown off. Here's what people down in Violet had to say about all this crazy weather. And all of a sudden it was like a big boom, like a corral, it sounds like. Then about 30 seconds and then it was over. And the worst to my house is just the fence down over here. And that's it on our house. And then everything on the back patio is kind of blown around. So another live look here in Kenner. You can see a lot of the debris still scattered. So much to clean up. And I also spoke with the Kenner mayor not too long ago. He says that it is a miracle that no children or staff were inside this building when this all happened. I've got his powerful interview coming up on WDSU News at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in Kenner, I'm Aubrey Killian. WDSU News.